So when you are really connected to your inner being, then suddenly you can start to sense and feel and perceive other people's inner being. And now when relationships are attracted to you, you are not as susceptible to being fooled by the story of the relationship. Even if it's like this magnificent story of, oh, I can't believe that this is how we met. And this same song played over and over again. And this like synchronistic event happened. It must be meant to be. And I feel so good with you. This must be the twin flame connection I've been looking for. Whether or not that is the case for you is not my point. That is up to you to decide ultimately. But what I am saying is that true connection diminishes as soon as story kicks in. As soon as we start to filter our relationship through a story of a personal self relating to another personal self, having a relationship experience that is then put on a pedestal and idolized as the most important thing in your life, this is a sure way to A, lose more connection with your true self, unless in rare occasions that's actually perfectly acceptable and that is exactly the theme of these two beings to be together for life and to really share that intense relationship experience where they extract most of their learning from the relationship as their object of focus itself but in most scenarios don't fool yourself in most scenarios check in with yourself in most lives, I can confidently say that for most people, relationships are reflections of where they're at at the journey, and they're not necessarily meant to be with one person this whole time. I'm sorry to break the news. Um, you don't have to believe me if it's not true for you. Like I said, there are exceptions. But in most cases, um, the relationships have to be seen as reflections of where you're at. Now, this might be that this relationship lasts a really long time. It might even be that it lasts for life. However, again, that's not the point. The duration of the relationship is not the point. The point is that we tend to give away our power and our connection to our own journey. We tend to forget our own journey for the sake of another person connection and feeling fulfilled in that. And we all know that we cannot always feel fulfilled from the physical level. You know, initially it's amazing when the other person touches you and acknowledges you and shares their life with you and all that. And that is beautiful. And it's also beautiful later on in the later stages. But you can't keep relating to another person from this over eager, excited point of view that's really excited because his lack beliefs are now being fulfilled in form. Because as soon as those lack beliefs get into the game and story takes over, you lose that true energetic spiritual connection to who you truly are, to your higher self. And when this happens, oftentimes either the relationship turns for the worse or um, in the rare scenario where you're actually meant to go through all these phases together with one person and that is in your theme of this life. That's a rare scenario, but it happens as well. It, that's totally cool as well or the relationship starts to disappear, the reflection starts to disappear because you lose connection with who you are. And the reason that this hyper-reflective, soul-connected relationship could even come and enter your reality to begin with is because you raised your frequency and your connection to your true self. But now that this reflection is here, and people do this also with other things, like when they finally get the car they want, or the house they want, or the money they want, or even like the enlightenment, the spiritual experience that they want. Oh, there it was. I meditated for so long. I raised my frequency. And there was my enlightenment experience. Now, as soon as they latch onto that, the experience starts to disappear. So you see, in life, we're always trained to never lose connection and predominantly make important the alignment within who we truly are, our true path, our true journey, our true path here on earth.